Hey y'all, what's poppin', what it is, what it do? You didn't see me in this outfit already because I'm recording six videos in one day to post them all in one day. And you, what's poppin', what it do? It's your girl, I'ma back get it. <clears throat> back at it again with another video. Thank you all for tuning in once again. So this video is basically going to be breast pumping, nursing, things of that nature you'll figure it out when you see the title so yeah if you're interested feel free to keep watching if you're not and you're one of my male viewers you know feel free to click off the video i won't be offended especially if you are already subscribed thank you to all of my subscribers by the way because i've yet to give y'all a shout out but i'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a small one right now thanks to all my subscribers there's not many of you guys but those who are here you're rock strong and i appreciate you guys because y'all Y'all be viewing me, okay? <laughs> Y'all be viewing me. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So, this video is literally going to be talking about, like, my personal breast pump, the one that I received, which I got on my registry. So, yeah. Everything you see in this video was purchased on my registry. Also, you can purchase it on Amazon. I'll find the links and link them down in the description box below. Um, Some of the things that I think are essential for nursing you know stuff like that because why not help another mom out so basically this is my pump it's by the brand um eco mom it's an electric breast pump so i know it looks really weird right but i'm gonna go through all the parts of it and then i'm gonna actually show you how to connect it and how it works and everything like that so this is the actual part that is the electric part. So keep that in mind. This is the tubing that goes to, oh gosh. This is the tubing that goes to it. Um, it's pretty weird looking once it comes out the, the package, but like I said, I'll, I'll show you guys that in a minute. So these are the parts, the actual parts that you attach to you. Don't demonetize me, YouTube, I'm sorry um i'm staying fully clothed in this video so like don't think you about to get a sneak peek mm -hmm. anyways so this is the pieces that attach to you these blue things up at the top do come off this is what it looks like and then there's a little rubber piece in here that you can take out to sterilize after so many pumps or after every pump there's another rubber piece in here that's what it looks like helps with the sucking both all of these pieces help with the sucking motion of the thing so there's that in this you do get oh lord <laughs> in this when you get your pump you do get everything that i'm getting ready to show you in it so yeah so there's these pieces you get two of them you also oh they come with these pieces because my pump has a massage feature so you can put these in here um and it helps a lot with like trying to add the extra pressure around your areola in order to um in order to make sure that you're getting the breast the best the breast pump <laughs> the best pump that you can get um you know so on and so forth these also pieces here come with these plastic pieces here that actually go over the top of it to ensure that no germies get inside of it also helps with keeping it sterile so there's that next thing is these it comes with two of these these are yes bottles Ugh. um you can attach these directly to the pump like so if you're going to be pumping to give the bottle directly to the baby or even if you're pumping to go into the bags however there's pieces that go for that so just bear with me um these are five ounce bottles they come with the nipple the nipple ring and the cover and it comes with this stand so like if you finish pumping <laughs> listen if you know you know all right you know, you sometimes go set your bottle down so that you can reach over and grab something else. 
And next thing you know, you reach back and you done hit the bottle. And now, you know, they're saying there's no use in crying over spilled milk, baby. It's crying when it's breast milk, okay? Okay. So, you do get two of those, which I think is pretty cool because then you can do your left breast on one and your right breast on the other. I did it right. Cool. So, next pieces are these attachment pieces here. These attachment pieces here connect to your pump like so. These attachment pieces have other attachment pieces that go on them that are not required for you to use, but like they can be helpful depending on what type of milk bags you have, which is the next thing. This is not, the next set of stuff is not um, the Ecomum brand. So you can attach this onto here, pull it off or, you know, click it on. Either way it goes. And what this helps with is if you have like those, um, what are those bags called? The candy set and you have a bunch of candy bags and you need to use the candy bags. Or like if you don't have a candy pump or anything like that, like you can literally attach this piece and it slides down. I'm gonna show you with a regular bag. It slides down into the little top nozzle part that's like this big. So it'll slide down in there so that way you can still pump. Because without it, it's, it, it yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> So you can attach these or you cannot attach these, even with regular breast milk bags. Um, it also came with the extra set of the plugs, which is the same plug that is on the inside of here. So if you need extra plugs or if you need plugs while these ones may be washing or sterilizing, you got some extra ones. It comes with two. It also comes with two of the little plastic things, um, the attachments. So everything came in two. So this pump actually did come with breast bags, milk bags. However, my breast milk bags for this pump are in my hospital bag. Um, so yeah. So basically, this is what your pump is looking like, right? So you take you a bag. I'm gonna have to pop one open in here in a minute anyway. So you take you a bag. These are the Dr. Brown's milk, breast milk storage bags. They go up to six ounces, which is great. Um, you tear this perforated part off here. You pull the tabs apart and then you pull it open like so. It does open up at the bottom so that way it can stand up. All right. If you want it to stand up, if you don't want to stand up, then don't stand up whatever so here's this basically you fold these flaps down on the side if your bags have flaps if they don't skip the step you fold the flaps down on the side like so then you push these two things on the side you see how it opens and then you slide your bag underneath the clips and voila now you can pump directly into the bag this pump was less than $50. Please get this pump, okay? It's great. So, that's how these work. So, in order to put this whole thing together, I'm going to show you as if I was pumping into the bottle. So, I'm going to, how I do it is, I'll start off by attaching whatever it is that I'm going to be pumping into. So, I've been pumping into bags, however... We're gonna act like we're pumping into a bottle. So take this to pump into the bottle. And you're gonna take your tubing and say we're just pumping on one breast. So this has three different tubes. This bottom long tube here goes into the machine. These two pieces here on the sides go into here. So when you're just pumping with one, you're gonna take what either side it don't matter and you're going to plug it into this top hole here like so it's not hard it literally just pushes in and pops right back out so once you do that you're going to attach this part to this little piece here i was telling you this piece is important push it in simple easy so then because this is a wireless pump it has two holes on it this hole right here is for the charger. This hole right here is actually for the pumping mechanism. So you just push that right in. It all pushes in, literally. 
Then you want to take this off, attach it in the right manner. And you're going to push the push and hold the power button. So with this, it starts you off here on level one. It does have a timer um, and it does show you how charged your battery is. OK, um, it comes half charged already. So, yeah. So as you can see on inside of there. This is just helping prepare your nipple to be able to actually pump milk. So you can change levels on it using this here. It goes up to level six. And then after a while, it'll switch over to a different pump, which is your longer pump to actually pull your milk. This is on level six. So whatever whatever setting it's on when you turn your pump off is what setting, like for the first setting, this one, where it's preparing your boob, this setting actually stays exactly where you leave it. So I normally pump on a level four or a level six, just depending on how tender we're feeling today, you know. Um, This button here, get that to focus anymore no okay this button here is for um massaging and there's two different massage settings and even though it's massaging it's still pumping you each one of these has six different settings well, this one has nine settings hmm. so the vibrating one has nine settings and it does actually you can fill it in here. So turn all of those back down to their original settings. And then you just tap it to turn it off. Like it's literally that simple. Now to do two, it's literally it's literally just as simple as uh detaching it from this little plug and reattaching it to the back of the little thing like so like it's literally that simple and then you can attach both of them so yeah essentially this 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 pump is like really cool and like i said it's wireless so you don't have to worry about needing somewhere to plug it in um you just have to watch that battery which the battery life lasts a while i'll say that <laughs> so that's how this works tea is in the shower by the way um and you guys saw my manual breast pump already i showed you guys how that works and everything so yeah these bottles also come with plugs to go into the um things so that we don't have any spillage in case it's like in the diaper bag so that's kind of cool like i said it basically comes with everything you need you shouldn't need much more than what it comes with um outside of like the breast pads but like i, I mean the, the bags but it like i said it does come with its own bags so you don't necessarily need to buy bags but like it don't come with a lot of bags but you can order the same brand bags off of amazon like i said i'll link this pump down below into the description box so all right now we're going to get into extra stuff that i feel like you should have during breastfeeding First of all is nipple cream. Now, this container is actually going to be the one that goes to the hospital with me because I've opened it and I've used it because my milk has came in and I feel like I want to catch all the um, colostrum. It's possible if you don't know what colostrum is. It's basically your pre-milk that has all of the vitamins and extra nutrients and stuff in it that is super healthy for the baby to have. So, like, I collect it. I pump anywhere between one to three times a day just to make sure that... Um, I'm getting as much as I can, but I don't overdo it. I don't pump no longer than 10 minutes because I'm still pregnant. Pumping does cause contractions, especially being this late in labor or being this late in pregnancy. And um, I've already been having contractions back to back, which is going to be another video tonight. So yeah, um, the next thing you're going to want is some type of soothing 
something. These ones are the Lanzano Soothing Gel Pads. These ones you can put into the fridge to cool off or to cool down some more. Um, and you just can literally stick them right into, I haven't opened any of them, but like I have three packs of these. So I have three sets. So like each pack comes with two. So yeah, I feel like there's a necessity because like they really help with, whew, especially if you're having problems with, um, being engorged or anything like that, like that will help kill that burning sensation because it burns baby the next thing i want to say for everybody who plans on nursing or pumping or any of that to have is nursing pads y'all lifesavers okay because listen <gasps> right so i have two different kinds here these are washable nursing pads and these are the disposable nursing pads so this box comes with 100 nursing pads and i think i have two boxes down there um so yeah and then this is from the brand lang spirit these both also came off of amazon so actually all of these came off of amazon so i will be linking those down in the description box below um so let's get into these disposable ones so it comes with a carrying pouch which is this outside one it does open up snap open on the wrist part and snap back close so I can attach it to the diaper bag to like the inside or anything like that or if I'm just carrying it around whatever whatever I can have these hanging off the side and then I can have my pump in here since my pump is small enough to fit in there like it's it's, it's a pretty great little thing so inside of it when you pull it out it's this bamboo bag which frankly smells amazing <laughs> And inside of the bamboo bag is your breast pads. So these are washable breast pads. It comes in a set of, I don't remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven breast pads. So they do have some more natural colored ones in here on top of some that are, you know, not so natural colored. <laughs> so you have two sets of white pads. These are the, what are they considered? Concaved, I guess. I don't know. Contour, that's what they're called, contour breast pads. So they have this little stitching right here that helps form around your breast. So you do have two sets of white. On the inside is microfiber, which is like, oh my God, it's so soft. Two sets of white. You get a set of yellow. You do not get to choose your colors, but that's fine. You have a set of yellow. You have a set of this peachy, beigey kind of pink. I don't know if you guys can even see that color, but. Then you have these really pretty purple ones. Some really pretty um, burgundy kind of, not really burgundy, because burgundy is more purple. So more of a maroon colored ones. And then you have a pair of black ones. So it does come with um, washing instructions in the on the bag or no, it don't. It comes with wash, washing instructions on here, I think. It says wash the nursing pads before the first use. Use the mesh laundry bag to avoid losing wash pads in laundry. So the reason why this is so big is because you have all of these nursing pads to fit inside and because you can wash the whole bag with the pads, which is great fantastic has a drawstring so you can just drawstring it tight like that one time toss it in there with whatever you're using um we're using baby drift so like i'll wash these in baby drift every time because the baby's mouth is going to be on my boobs so you know why not <laughs> but it comes with simple to use instructions which is right here it says, thank you for visiting us and making your purchase. We're glad that you found what you were looking for. It is our goal that you are always happy with what you bought from us. So please let us know if you're purchasing experience with anything short of excellence. It gives you your support email, and then it gives you how to use instructions. So it says, wash nursing pads before the first use. Use the mesh, mesh laundry bag to avoid losing pads in the washer. Make sure your nipple is dry. This is to position. Make sure your nipple is dry and apply cream if necessary. Place looped bamboo side against your breast with a waterproof layer next to bra. So like inside your bra, you would put this with the softer side inside, like facing your breast. 
Change pads frequently to prevent moisture. Remove the breast pad to the small wet bag until it can be laundered. So this is your wet bag. So yes, I said you can carry this stuff in it because you righteously can. However, you put these in it when they're basically too wet or anything like that. You grab those, you put them in here. It's a wet bag, so it's meant for wet items. So yeah. And then it says machine wash warm and tumble dry low. Avoid fabric softeners or bleach. Bamboo will automatically actually get softer and softer with each wash. To store them, when pads are washed and dried, it's best to lay them flat to keep them from developing folds or wrinkles that may not lie well in your bra. So after you wash them, don't just toss them back in here. So they're going to go from this bag from being washed, right, to being worn like so to being in here until you can get to the washer and then when you store them do not put them back in here until they are completely dry it says tumble dry low so if you know that means that this don't need no harsh heat to it so you're just gonna set it like so on like the top of your dryer or if you have some clothes pins and you know clothes pin it and hang it from something whatever floats your boat okay so yeah i i strongly advocate for these ones over the disposable ones and i'm fixing to get into the disposable ones and then i'll tell you why but yeah so real simple stuff they're really nice they're super soft and i highly recommend this will be linked below as well so um Let's see. Boom. All right. So the last thing is the Lanzano Stay Dry Nursing Pads. You do not have to get this brand. This is just the brand that I got. Um, these came on my registry. So, yeah. So... These come individually wrapped. They come with 100 protectors is what they're called. So go ahead and take two out because I'm going to have to pop them out of the package. So on here it says um, quilted honeycomb layer for comfortable protection, waterproof lining for leak-proof guidance you can trust, and superior absorbency. Now, not to, lock, not to knock Lanzano because they are a great company, a great brand. However, these are not leak proof if you are like super producer, okay? So like you open it like so, right? And then you open it like so, right? So then it sits inside of your bra like this. Cool. It has these sticky things right here. Like you pull this off and it's, it's sticky, okay? There's two of them. So you can stick it inside of your bra. In whatever direction, whether it be this way or whether it be that way, right? So the problem lies when your boobs are leaking so much and your breast pads, once these get wet, this sticky part not sticky no more and it starts to ball up inside of your bra. So like if you're out in public or like your baby doesn't actually latch because we had that problem with Nari, your baby don't latch. Just get you some of them because listen like these i don't know if it's just this brand or what but like literally i had the biggest problem with these as soon as they got wet this this part wouldn't be sticky and it would just ball up and it would just be so uncomfortable and mushy and like i was at nari's checkup her first checkup after she left the hospital and it was horrible because i was literally leaking so much milk that these got wet balled up and it was useless like i hated them so again you just Pop it open. Now, if you need a quick solution or just like something to kind of like, you know, stop a little bit of leakage, these are the way to go. Pop the package open. You pop it open like this. You can keep it closed like that or you can undo it like this. And then you have these two tabs you pull off, right? You attach it to your bra. You let it go. <laughs> 
So they're cool little products. Don't get me wrong. But I just feel like if you if you leak a lot, which in them first couple of weeks after having a baby, if you're nursing and your milk comes in, like literally you're going to leak a ton. So, yeah. I'm not going to say I don't recommend them, but I don't recommend them for long term. Like, So, yeah. Um, thanks for tuning into the video. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in today. Um, if you are new here, thank you. Feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. So anytime that I post, you will get a notification. Um, I, if there's anything about breast care, breast, breast pump, anything or breastfeeding or pumping or anything that has to do with chacha leche for the babies, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll get into it. I'll do a, talk, a part two. And, um, yeah, so, uh, thank you for tuning in. And also, this video is going to go up, and then I think I have one or two more videos that are actually going to go up today. So, a total of three or four videos go up today. Just keep that in mind.